p is an even integer so if 2 raised to power 10 if p were equal to 2 it would have only 11 factors however if p were a big even number for example 200 this will have a lot more factors so various possibilities statement 1 is not sufficient come to statement 2 a number has exactly three factors only when it happens to be square of a prime number for example 3 raised to power 2 the only way 3 can be reached is it is square of a prime number so the uh, the factors would be 3 raised to power 1 3 raised to power 2 and 3 raised to power 0 which is 1 so that's the only way a number can have three factors therefore the number has to be something like prime raised to power 2 where p is a prime number uh, so something like let's say the number has to be something like 3 raised to power 2 so p raised to power 10 would be something like raised to power 10 3 raised to power 20 this 3 could be 2 5 any other prime number but whichever way the number of factors would be 20 plus 1 irrespective of the base because the base is going to be prime which cannot be further broken the number of factors is going to be 21 to get to 21 i used only statement 2 and therefore b is the right answer